Hey guys, this is Jason from Ovibe Studios and we are back with a new Let's Play series with the current um, build of Battle Brothers and the build is actually really really close to the final version of the game so what you can see in this Let's Play series will be really close to the final product uh, on release so um, we're just gonna start up a new campaign I hope I can continue the, um, the Let's Play series for a couple more episodes like last time we we made like eight episodes or so and um i want to to continue a, bit, a, a little bit longer this time so now for our setup um we're gonna play on veteran so not on normal normal you should definitely pick when you start a new campaign and what's new that you can um uh, select which late game crisis you want to be uh, coping and uh, later in the game this will be, will, will be like a big event that's happening so you have the options between random a war between noble houses a greenskin invasion or an undead scourge and i'm gonna pick the undead scourge because i really like the undead and especially the new ancient dead that we just added to the game and uh, maybe i can show them off in this way okay so here we go let's start a new campaign on veteran mode so everything you see in this version um, will, will be pretty much what you get in the final game. There will be a couple of new things that we add, like a couple of events, items, uh, and then there will be balancing changes and um, small additions and so on. But um, overall, this is pretty close to the, to, the, to the real deal. The game is pretty much feature complete by now. And of course, we could add like lots and lots of stuff, but... Um, we just simply don't have the time for it so at some point we just have to draw the line now into the gameplay let's um, let's uh, do our first battle here we've been ambushed by um, uh, robbers and bandits they have slain our mercenary company and now it's our turn to uh, um, take over and uh, kill these bandits and uh, lead the company a mercenary company back to greatness I won't go into too many details on the mechanics of the game um, as probably most of you will already know it. So um, we're just gonna use our th first three battle brothers to fight off these bandits. Just gonna quickly scoop around with the um, crossbow guy to shoot down this line. Always have to be clear that you don't shoot your own shoot your own guys. Somebody was, would be standing here would have a pretty big chance of shooting him. There you go. Now for the X, he misses unfortunately, and um, I think we got rid of the first bandit. Oh, he, he, there was a pretty bad cut to Winrich. Reload the crossbow. I am I'm using quick um, the hotkeys for activating these skills, so everything's going to be a bit faster. Move in and go for the hit. Unfortunately, we missed them. The spear has a very high hit chance. Oh, this guy al al almost bled out. He has like six, six hit points left. Not gonna shoot with this guy. And finally, a hit with the two-handed axe. So we have got one guy is already very beaten up. We're gonna have a look at our loot. It's not very good, but we take it anyways. And so this is our story, and a, um, we didn't change anything about this. So it's basically a, sort of a tutorial. Uh, that you are now taking over the company of mercenaries and um, you had a contract with uh, Ivendorf to kill those bandits and especially Hoggart, the leader of the band pack, but he escaped in the fight and um, now we are moving back with our badly beaten company and uh, try to collect our reward. As you can see we have now a little battle sites when there has been a battle. We also added tons of new event pictures and you can see that the um, employers now have proper attire so this guy has like this fancy coat and others will have like fur um, coats or whatever and they look like, really like guys who can afford mercenaries okay so um, now we I just jump over this because we've seen this in the other let's plays before and here you can basically select to continue with the tutorial or to jump over it and we're going to continue by hunting down Hoggart, the um, the bandit and um, we get told that we should uh, get more supplies and more men and more weapons and that's what we're going to do and we have to go to a um, bigger city over here 
head over there and um, what I can show you is like we have a new water uh, in the game it looks like this it's animated now making the whole world map look a little bit more um, alive and more sophisticated so now we are traveling through the ancient forest um, up here in the right corner you can see our objective we have to go to Taubenmoos recruit a couple of more guys get some weapons and armor for our crew and there's something that I think a lot of you will really enjoy and that's the, the time stamps up here and so we can speed now, you can speed up the uh, travel time on the world map and uh, this is uh, basically a convenience feature that you'll have for um, traveling long distances so you can speed it up a little bit. Okay, almost uh, almost in Taubenmoos. And um, I'm just going to jump quickly over them. Uh, here we are getting some uh, tips on what to do from our mercs. It's basically for new players advice. So now we are here at night time, which is very, um, very bad for us because all the shops are closed, but taverns open. Have a quick look. And uh, there's nothing interesting here. Usually you can pay rounds for your men here to improve um, their mood. Or here you can pay the patrons to get some rumors and they will occasionally tell you about uh, where to get contracts or um, uh, where to pick up a, um, named weapons and items. So sometimes they will have a clue for you where to hunt for these very rare and powerful items. Now uh, the day has dawned. We are in the settlement. Here you can see there is a contract available here. So when we finish with Hoggard we will probably go here so that we can pick up that contract. Okay, let's get some more guys on the crew. We did too expensive, too expensive. This guy is a, um, a butcher. So he probably knows what he's doing. We're gonna hire the guy. Um, many of these are really expensive, so I'm probably gonna head somewhere. I mean, we get one archer. And uh, these guys are poachers, so they really know what they're doing. Usually with a, um, a, with a bow and arrow. Just gonna hire Wanda. There we go. And get some equipment. Maybe just grab some grains quickly. I really want those shields. Uh, in the beginning of the game you should definitely get all the shields that you, uh, that you see. Those are really powerful and uh, protect your men in the beginning of the game. Just grabbing some weapons over here. And I guess that's basically it for now. Um, I'm positive that I can get some uh, some more recruits uh, back in, or maybe just we're gonna stop by here and back in Ivendorf. Now when we started out in this fight we already discovered a location over here uh, and it's an unknown garrison and but by the banner I think it's a um, it's a un it's a goblin location so we don't want to go there. <laughs> the goblins should definitely not be approached early in the game. Another contract over here. So once we are done in Ivendorf, we will have a lot to do. Okay, great farmhand. That's a really good background in the beginning of the game. Get that guy. Um, a day tailor. It's very good. It's just 90 crowns. It's a bargain. And then we're gonna get... We already have seven guys. It should be enough for the, um, for the start. But this guy is just 90. Yeah, let's get that guy. Yeah, at some point you, you have the problem that you have too many guys and not enough equipment. So we're gonna get the cheapest stuff that we can get. We only have 650 left. Let's grab some clubs for them. Yeah, maybe a tunic would be good. Another one. Spears are really good in the early game, but they're very, pretty expensive. We're just gonna get one of them. Another weapon. So now we have to check out... Um, uh, what kind of equipment uh, we have available. I wanted to give you this. And how to set up our men. So this, these are the battle lines. So in battle this is the second line, this is the front line. Usually you want to have a archers and, and guys with pikes and, and bill hooks in the second line. And this is the reserve with the small tent. So those guys are not participating in combat. So when you have like guys that are injured, you should put them in reserve so that they can heal up. Um, anyways, let's have a look. Oh, this guy is, um, it's, this is the poacher. He's got a pretty good range skill. It's all fine. He doesn't need the good armor in the back line. Gonna give him the butcher's apron. So let's have a look at our front line. 
Oh, this guy is insane. Three stars, uh, talent stars on the uh, melee skill. So that would be um, on level up, he will get a lot of points here. Do you really need to protect that guy? Um, he's gonna get that armor. This, there you go. Just gonna quickly scan through these guys. Yeah, they're pretty okay -ish. It's not, not really that good. But um, I take it. Let's just quickly hand out some equipment for them. The problem is that I lack a um, I lack helmets and headgear. So once they get like a hit to the head, um, it's pretty much a pretty fast game over for them. You're gonna get that. Okay. Let's head back. Now our objective is fulfilled, and we can head back to Ivandorf. So um, there are lots and lots of new little things. Um, you can see like we changed the color of the footprints so before that they were white so you can now read them a little bit better and lots and lots of all those small um, improvements overall and we did some balancing changes and additions here and there but um, you will see them as we go along. One thing that uh, a lot of people has, have been asking for is the uh, obituary. So here you have like a wall of um, Wall of Fame basically and uh, once people die they will show up there and uh, with a short description of how they died, how many battles they had and so on. Let's head over here. Okay, so get ready for the fight. Um, now we're getting told to uh, head out to Hoggard's uh, base and uh, kill him once and for all. Okay, so we have a 160 just for two days. Food is enough for three days. It's, it's okay. It's not very good, but um, the first fight should be okay. Maybe we lose a guy, but these guys are not not so good that I gonna you're gonna cry a lot if they get killed. Okay, where is that hideout down there? It's gonna head over. I don't want to attack at night time, but um, because our our ranged units then will have like a big penalty. Just gonna camp it out in the mountains over here. Uh, and uh, we will raid the Hoggard's refuge at dawn. So now as the light comes up. There you go. Um, so these, this is a few bandit thugs and a bandit poacher. So here are these guys. They have an archer as well. And it's really bad. They have the high ground. So that's, not, that's usually not what I want. I'm gonna wait a little. Um, you can wait turn and moving this character to the end of the of the turn order and that way you can um, you can just wait so that they come closer and then when you're shooting them you get a better chance oh we got our first injury on Winrich that's not very good um, I'm gonna wait with the other guys so my archers can act first and uh, shoot at them just gonna quickly wait with those that was a nasty injury, it's a pierced arm muscle reducing his offense, I think, and uh, usually you really don't want that to happen. Okay, I think we can already move up a little. No, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. And shoot the guy with the, um, with the axe. <laughs> or not shoot them, you decide. In the beginning the archers uh, have a lot of trouble with actually hitting the targets. Gonna move here, try to stun the guy. Very well, so um, he has to skip his next turn. That was really good. Now I can move in with Hermann. The problem with the two-handed axe is that his uh, his close combat attack takes six action points, and so he cannot move two tiles and attack. So I have to um, just move one tile, and um, sixty-three percent is not really high. Well, wow, he did it. That's actually amazing. Move on the high ground. Just gonna move over here. I'm gonna try to sneak around here with this guy. I'm gonna put up the spear, spear wall, that's a defensive ability and everybody who's, who's moving into an adjacent tile will get attacked next turn. Um, this is Hoggard the Weasel by the way. He is uh, pretty well equipped with a round shield and a falchion and a chainmail but he doesn't have a helmet so um, if I get lucky I will hit him in the head and then he can maybe even get one shot. Um, yeah, but that needs a little bit of luck. With Winrich, he's already wounded. I'm gonna put up a shield wall that increases his defense. And I hope that he doesn't get shot again. Okay, he's moving up cautiously. 
Well, he instantly gets hit again. They are trying to avoid the, the spear wall down here. That's really good. I was, I was hoping for that. Gonna move around with the crossbow. You only need um, two action points to fire it, but you need uh, eight to reload it. So you can move a couple of tiles before shooting. And think if I should shoot at that guy now. That's 58%. Let's, let's try to shoot this guy. Well done, nice shot. I gonna avoid this guy for now. Hogat, because he has a very good position on top of the hill. And I will try to um, to not confront him like that. Okay, it's Helmet's turn. Cut him down. And with the over, we have an effect that's called uh, surround. And as you can see, this guy is surrounded by uh, three people. So every uh, every guy after the first one gives a little bonus to um, to hit him. So the more people you can have you have around the enemy, it's the better it is for you. Very nice hit. He's got a cut arm, and he's uh, gravely wounded. So I think I can take him down now. Well done. Good hit. Put up that shield wall. I think I will. Um, put a Ernst right here, so this guy cannot move anymore. And then I can move uh, Niels the Builder, I can move him around to um, attack the Archer in the back. So this guy cannot uh, try and stop me. Um, let's try and stun him. Yeah, why not? Didn't work out. I'm a bit reluctant to put Winrich on the front line, because he already uh, uh, took a couple of hits. He's just gonna spam the shield wall and try to survive. And now it's Neil's turn. And unfortunately um, he will not be able to reach the archer in one turn. If I move here, um, he, will try, he will try to escape. But that's good enough, he doesn't shoot then. Another injury, Ernst got a broken hand, fractured hand. That's pretty nasty. I, just I'm receiving lots of injuries in my first fight here. I don't really like that. Okay, let's see what happens. Reload the crossbow. You could shoot Hoggard. Not very good chance. 52%, I take it. Well done, I almost one shot at him. He <laughs> just shot him through the ear. He's got a ripped ear and he's almost down. That was a very good shot. I gonna wait with Hermann. Hermann has the task of destroying the shield of Hoggard. We'll see how that goes. Okay, he doesn't want to engage, but he left his um, his elevation and that's already very good. Now we go with an aim shot to try to finish that poacher off. 50% is not, not that good, I wouldn't... Wow, nice one. Then uh, good shot, good shooting here. Gonna move over here. Now we're just gonna spam attacks on, on this guy. Wow, I uh, hit to the head with the butcher's cleaver, it split nose and the bleeding. And this guy will... And he's already fleeing, so uh, this guy's completely wasted. And um, I don't uh, think that he will make it that long. He's gonna bleed to death. There you go. We're gonna move around with Winrich. He, I don't want to put him on the front line anymore, it's not needed. Okay, what to do, what to do. I really don't want to engage him right now. But I could. Okay, just put up your shield wall. Moving up like so. Shield wall. And now I'm gonna move. Um, I'm gonna move over here. I don't want to move in the close contact because he, if he, he's first two hits with the with the Falchion that can easily kill Hermann in the early game. If he hit, especially if he hits the head. Just move around. Don't want to move there. Okay, now it's your time to shine. Or maybe, yeah, yeah. He has to destroy the shield because with, without the shield, it's. Um... Oh wow, that was a nasty one. How did he kill him in one shot? Just gonna quickly look at the um, combat log. So here you, you have pretty detailed information on uh, what's happening. So Ernst the Loyal has uh, got hit. Um, yeah but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just bad luck. At least now I can show you the obituary uh, properly. Oh, uh, Winrich has uh, decided to turn tail. Maybe it's a good decision. <laughs> nice one, 
Balon managed to stun Hoggard, so he will lose his next action. Yes, so there you go. If you you already managed to um, uh, to rally, okay, we're gonna spam some spear attacks. Nice attack to the head. I try to just spam attacks as much as possible. I don't want to shoot him because um, he's standing to so many of my guys really close and if I shoot into there I have a really high chance of hitting my own guy and that's some, something you really want to avoid. There he goes down. Okay, Ernst the Loyal, he's... Um, wow, he's actually not dead. He uh, just received a permanent injury and when a guy dies, uh, there's a chance that he will receive a permanent injury instead of just being dead. And um, he has a collapsed lung and uh, that reduces his fatigue by 40%. That's just really massive. Uh, so he won't be of any use at all. Um, but I can take him and put him in the back line and from there he will maybe use a pole arm or something. And uh, th then he will be okay. So. Uh, great loot, we got the um, patched uh, mayor shirt, that's a really really massively good haul at the beginning of the game. We've got some cloth that we can sell, um, some some tools and supplies, which are really expensive, so that's very good. And a falchion, that's a really good weapon in the beginning of the beginning of the game. So great stuff. Now we've got a small uh, um, closure to, to our initial contract. And we're moving back to Ivendorf. We, have, we can have a look here how many tools and supplies we need to repair all our stuff, so just six. But I will change around as soon as I put the um, chainmail on him. What I could really use is a helmet though. Okay, Ants is at three hit points and he has a fractured hand, so this guy is completely useless right now. Gonna strip his weapons. And um, this is a pretty good weapon, a uh, pretty good armor. We're gonna put it on, on him. You can have, which was the guy with the really high melee skill? Oh, his armor is already pretty good, 55. That's pretty decent. This one has 50, this one 30. Okay, there you go, you, you just put this on. And um, just gonna drop the Falchion on you. That's pretty decent, Are we, we're doing pretty okay for ourselves. And um, that's just a tip that you get that when, for, when you camp, then um, your troops will replenish faster and your uh, repair rate will go up. So the, you can see the militia just moved out and destroyed some, some bandits or whatever over there. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. And uh, we uh, completed our first contract, basically hunting down Hoggard. We hired some guys, we, um, we bought some weapons and armor. Um, we almost lost our first guy, <laughs> to be honest. And um, the life of mercenaries is a dangerous one, so I think we are pretty lucky that we still have all our guys together, even if uh, Ernst the Loyal will be uh, maimed for the rest of his life. And oh, he already is a bleeder, I didn't see that. So yeah, he doesn't have like the best, <laughs> uh, the best um, prerequisites to stay alive that long. I think we should hire some new, some new guys. But what we'll do here is that we get some new, f some more food. Just gonna get the cheapest food available. And we just gonna grab the hood. And maybe a pitchfork for our backline. That would be a good idea. So now he's already useful again. Just like that. I'm gonna hand this out over here and we've got a hood. And the hood it doesn't get uh, give a lot of armor, but um, it's better than nothing. Okay, if you remember, we had a um, two contracts actually, one contract over here and one over here. And uh, another thing that we added is if you um, point on a uh, settlement that you have been before, a tow before, you can see that there's an armorer, and he has a tavern and a fletcher. And in this settlement, uh, we don't know what uh, facilities it has, so. Um, now you can see on the world map, uh, if you're looking for that one temple or whatever, then um, you can see it on the world map. So just a quick, um, quick another info, uh, when you, uh, we, um, we made it so that for the relations you can see um, for each town and each faction what kind of relation go, um, changes you had. So here you can see we killed Hoggard's men and we killed Hoggard. 
and that uh, increased our relations with Ivendorf and they will give us better prices and so on. And over here you can see some of this awesome new attire of the, of the rich guys. I really love this coat with the blue on it and the fur and the red. So they, they now really look like uh, somebody who can pay mercenary. Let's head over to Kahlenberg. So have a look at that contract. Okay, so um, what we have to do is a there's a, a rare coin collection has been stolen from the village, and um, <clears throat> he wants us to um, hunt down the thieves and uh, get it back. And he's offering 210 crowns. That's not a lot, but um, I think we're gonna take it. Okay, we have enough food. We have enough tools and supplies. Maybe and with the armor we can score a helmet. But these are really expensive. It's not possible to buy one. We can sell some of our weapons. No, still won't do. Okay, let's follow those foot footprints that the thieves left. It's not really good. I don't want to fight them at night. At night in the swamp. Uh, that's not really what I'm going for. Okay, and here's another um, major addition to the game. I just gonna read quickly through this because it's really important. It falls to you, the commander, to see that the company succeeds, not just on the battlefield but also in fame and riches, and so you spend the evenings pondering about the bigger plan for the battle brothers in your tent, while the men talk and laugh around the fire. You are never going to become a legend simply by chasing bandits, what we're doing right now by the way, and doing small time contracts. What do you proclaim to the men of the company uh, will set out to do? So this is the call uh, the ambition system and in the beginning you only have a few ambitions that you can choose and these basically set the path for your company so um, when you fulfill these ambitions you will get renown, you will get more fame and your man will be um, in a better mood. And so this is basically uh, a, a way through the game so you can set your own goals while playing. We as, we as a developer we don't impose goals on you. We say like you should go there next and you should do this but you can choose them yourselves and you get rewarded for making the right choices. So um, we can choose maybe we uh, should get the company back to 12 men or um, we should uh, form a bond of friendship with a village. Um, with Ivendorf, we are really close to having a good relation, but on the other hand, I really want to have 12 men first. That would be a main priority and it's not really hard to accomplish. So I'm going to choose that one. And later in the game, you will get more complicated and more difficult ambitions, of course. So um, this will stay with you throughout the game. So we can have a quick look at our renown. Uh, we are still unknown, so just starting out. And uh, they are the thieves. Um, I think about not attacking them, them at night. Just gonna wait it out. I hope that they don't turn tail. No, they won't. Okay, here they are. Uh, the thieves are quite human. A simple crew of vagabonds and bandits. They arm themselves of the order you're meant to attack. Okay, let's do this. I really love these banners of the bandits. You can see from looted, uh, looted equipment and so on. And we've got a lot of different banners for them. For all factions, of course. Okay, here we are. Um, that's not very good for us. They are starting on dry ground and we are on in the swamp. It's not very good. I think I'm gonna let them come first. Because you get like really rough uh, combat penalties in the uh, murky water. Don't want that. Just gonna wait. There's not, not no use in, in moving up because he won't be able to attack anyways. But I'm gonna move up with you. Just stab this guy, Nudes. I'm really looking forward to what uh, happens to Ernst the Loyal in the future. So he's like, after he uh, started out into the mercenary life, the first thing that happened is that his lungs, one of his lungs collapsed. So um, yeah, he's surely off to a great start. I'm really looking forward to his story. Just gonna wait um, to, to give these guys a free um, uh, line of sight so that they can shoot this bandit before I engage, like so. Oh, come on, that was a 67, that was not too bad. I'm a bit scared of this guy, I don't want him. 
I don't want him close to me. He's gonna put off these bandits with the spear wall. So, let's fire off some quick shots right into the midst of this group and hope that somebody will hit, be hit. No, nothing happened. Okay, now uh, Ernst has his, um, his pitchfork and he can use an attack over a tile. So this way we can have him out of, uh, of harm's way and he can still be useful in combat. 48% is really bad. Oh, what? well done, well done. Pierced arm muscles. It's a good one. I'm just gonna move up a little bit with him. Oh, I so need a better helmet. That's that's so bad. Like two attacks and he's go he's goes down. It's I don't really want that to happen. Just gonna move down here. And you can move up. Maybe he's may he manages to kill him. Or maybe I don't even want to kill him because then ah uh, whatever. Well done. Okay, he reloaded. Try to shoot this this guy with the crossbow. Well done. Nice, a pierced leg muscle that will slow him down a little bit. Oh, come on, he missed his spear wall. That's too bad. But at least this guy with the um, with two-handed axe doesn't move up. Throw some spear punches at him, some thrusts. We have to be aware of this guy. Oh, Winrich got a injury. The fractured hand and pierced arm muscle from the last fight. Just gonna f try and impale this guy. Well then, you can see that a lot of injuries get thrown around in the early game. Um, if somebody um, gets an injury or not depends on how many hit points he loses with a hit. So in the early game where there's little armor in the game, people tend to get injured very quickly. Hmm, I can't attack if I move up. Just gonna wait. Okay, there's an, when you see this little red shield, there's somebody in the line of fire or something. So everything is a has a blocked line of fire. That's not very good. It's not helpful at all. Maybe just gonna move up. Gonna get a free um, free line of fire. I hit the shield. That's too bad. You're gonna try and stun this guy. I hit him, but I didn't stun. Nice one with the Falchion. Carsten is doing work. He got through two very good hits. Now Winrich is in a very bad spot. He's got two injuries, he's in the swamp and he's surrounded by three guys. So I only hope that he will, can, he will survive with the shield wall up. I think I'm just gonna wait with uh, Hermann. Yeah, no, I'm gonna move up, whatever. Take some risks. Okay, Ernst, good initiative. Oh well done. He he's he's doing a really good job. I mean, with his fractured hand and uh, and everything, and he still manages to get down this really really dangerous enemy. Well done. Okay, it's time for the crossbow. I have no good line of sight. I could shoot that guy. Why not? Ah, hit the shield. That's too bad. Okay, Hermann did good. Stab this guy. Nice hit to the head, and he's down. Very good. Gonna shoot some arrows. Nice one. A grazed kidney. Wow. I'm amazed. Wanda is doing really good, really good uh, work is, uh, despite his really low range skill. Okay, uh, it's Hammond's turn. Um, this guy will be up next and this guy already acted this turn so I'm not really concerned with him but I want to get this guy out of the way. Well done. He was only 53%. I'm, I'm having some really lucky roads. Okay, so I shouldn't say that, not to jinx it. Wow, <laughs> Winrich's still standing there. 48%. I'm pretty lucky with those rolls, to be honest. Okay, Winrich is out of... Um, he's fatigued, so he won't be able to use any of his abilities right now. As can be pretty bad. If this bandit thug um, can land one punch, it could be over already. Okay, I can't hit somebody, anybody from here. Move over here, Hermann, it's X time. Oh, he's landing all those hits with four, just 40%. I'm pretty amazed, to be honest. Now for the um, for the archers, it's pretty much game over right now and there's not a lot they can do. Move over here, try to surround them. Oh, I didn't need that injury. I really didn't need that grazed kidney. Yeah, but at least nobody died. That's <laughs> right. Okay, and the last one is fleeing. So there you go. Um, that was okay. 
That was an okay fight. I got another injury and especially I got it on Carsten, which is really bad because he's one of my uh, best fighters. Or he will be one of my best fighters. And it's a pretty a pretty nasty um, injury, to be honest. Three to six days minus 50% hit points. But we've got a couple of level ups and that's really amazing. And the loot is meh. Uh, just a leather cap, that's, that's decent. Okay. The coins, we collected them and we can bring them back to Kallenberg. Let's have a quick look. Um, he definitely needs a better helmet. We have a couple of weapons that we can sell. But, um, oh, oh look at all those injuries, that's too bad. That's not very good. And these take a long time to heal. Two to six days. This one also and um, as you can see we have like these little mood icons and when you hover over them you can see that uh, there is a, uh, a history uh, what happened so lo lost most of the company was well, at the beginning when the company got murdered and now we won a battle we avenged the company and we won another battle so if you lose guys then um, your other guys will of course be uh, get in a bad, uh, bad mood or if you fulfill an ambition they will get a better mood and so on. Okay so Kallenberg, um, I think it, it doesn't show up here. No because we have neutral relations. Every normal village with neutral relations will not show up over here because just not to spam it so much to make it too crowded. There we go. The money was really low on this one. It's just 200 210 crowns, that's that's really low. Okay, um, I think we're gonna do the level ups in the next episode. And um, and then we're gonna head down south to this other city, um, the other town. It's called uh, Taubenmoos and we're gonna head over there and do a contract. Okay, see you in the next episode. Bye.